Can you hear it? The kids in the bedroom playing. <laughs> They're so silly. All right, everybody. Um, these are my journals I'm going to be listing this week. I know that uh, I'm getting them up a bit later than anticipated. I've been really sick. Um, I'm finally slowly starting to get over it. I'll probably be back to work on Thursday. But um, you all have seen the video for the World Atlas. Uh, this was the Nick the Booksmith Challenge. Please check it out. Uh, I will try and remember to link the, uh, the video in the description box. Uh, I haven't been messing around with the little icons up here in a long time. Um, I've just been so busy that I really haven't had time. At some point, I'll go back and, and uh, mess with these little icons up here in the corner and put this one in. Um, there are 10 journals here. These will all be listed in the Etsy shop as well. Also, um, after I get done recording this video... Jeez! Are you guys done? Can, can I get a word in edgewise? Nope. They're still kicking each other's booties. Give me a second. <laughs> Such little turds. Okay, back with the journals. So, um, these will be listed in the shop. Uh, not all of them are. Two of them were custom orders with a lady has... Hey, 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 pause, pause. So I close the bedroom door and they run all the way around and yeah. Anyway, they're probably going to be causing a ruckus again. Um, so two of these were custom orders and uh, they were requested for a lady who has ordered a couple of these previously and they are done in colorful paper. Uh, I said it in one of my other videos, I think. Um, if you guys, my next order that's coming out if anyone wants any of those in colors, shoot me a message and I will go over what I have in stock, send you a couple photos and you can pick from the lineup and choose colored photos in the, or colored paper in them. It will not change the price of the journal. It will be the same price as it originally was, whether it's tea stained or color stained. So that in mind, here is my first one. This one's the razor's edge. Uh, it has the same uh, wraparound as Green Mansions. Um, this one obviously is coffee dyed. All of them are going to be coffee dyed. They are archival papers. Um, I I put the stuff in them to make sure that they're archival. And these also have duck, tuck spots. This one is the only one that has tuck spots. I think in my last order I forgot to date some of them. And sign some of them. I am very sorry for that. For those of you watching that already have one. Uh, these ones do have my name. At Little Miss Daisy and date. And these are done with my calligraphy pen. So just so you all know. It's a little new thing that I'm having fun with. And from now on out. I'm going to try and sign all of my journals. With the calligraphy pen. So this one is. Kenneth Roberts. Arondel. Something like that. Uh, this is a red one. The cover is very nice. Uh, I added a different paper into this one. This one has a very pretty butterfly with flowers. And of course with the coffee dyed paper. And of course I signed it here and dated it. And on the spine this one will be a little bit cheaper. But I did add some um, glue and I did, if you couldn't tell, spray it with a acrylic clear uh, UV protectant so it will last quite a while and I added some uh, a tad bit of glue to reinforce the spine make sure that it wasn't gonna come off so this one and on the bookmark I haven't decided yet but I think I might put a little butterfly I had to add some glue because this was coming apart I might add a little butterfly to cover it up or Whoever purchases it could glue on like a flat piece of uh, paper or something that's a butterfly to cover that up. And I thought that would be really cute. Um, I do have two of these. Uh, the, long, uh, the Log of a Cowboy by Andy Adams. 
classics of the Old West. These ones are really nice. This one will be $30. Uh, the cover is leather and in really great condition. Just so you all know, that is why it's going to cost a little bit more than the regulars. And, of course, coffee stain paper. Again, archival. And I signed it in the back. It's shiny ink. It's so pretty. And this one just has a basic uh, leather type paper that I put into it. Very nice looking. I love the way this one turned out. Um, just very, very clean, very smooth. Of course, we have another Veritas journal. We're going to be coming up on a couple of these. This one's Plato, uh, I cannot pronounce that to save my life, and Marcus Aurelius. So there's going to be a couple of these. And again, gray, or not gray, uh, coffee stained archival. And some really vintagey, cool looking family paper. And of course, my signature and the date. And a bookmark as well. You can't forget the bookmark. I try and keep the original bookmarks. Some of them don't have them or I lost them. So I put in a different bookmark. Some of them never had them all together. So I just didn't put it in. So this one is also ready to go. Uh, this one I thought was really cool. It's very vintage looking. And it's the, the, the black rose. And I think it's like a, a pirate ship book because, of course, it has all these pirate ship maps. And I did, I left all of the, oh, 25 cents. Sorry, guys, I can't do much about that. Um, but I left in the original cover piece and I added, of course, this paper over it. And you've got the coffee stained paper. And the regular twine that I use is the tricolored twine, wax twine. And of course, I signed it right here. And I had to uh, glue a little bit right there to fix. <clears throat> but other than that, it came out really, really beautiful. I love the fact that the original map for the book was kept in the book. So this one will be going up. Here's this wonderful blue one. Uh, this was short stories by De, De Mop. Pescent, Mopescent, sorry, um, can't really pronounce that very well. I think he's uh, really popular for writing a, real, a whole slew of really good short stories. Um, we got some vintage looking flowers in the front to match the cover. I thought they matched quite well. Obviously some coffee stained paper and the back book plate and my signature and the date. Now we have another one of these wonderful green ones, and they're kind of sticking together a little bit. Um, this one's The Way of All Flesh. This one was a custom pick. Um, the reason why this one's going to be so cheap is because the crack right here. That's why she picked it, because I had a hard time binding it back together to make it look original. It still is bound with a mesh, so you'll still be able to use it. Just like a regular book, it shouldn't give you any more problems. Um, and this is obviously one of the colored paper ones she chose. She wanted green and yellow inside of this one. And I chose a really pretty green and yellow mounting plate. And instead of using muslin like traditionally, I used a green and yellow fabric to bind the signatures to. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I need to go get some chloroseptic. It's my best friend right now. Okay, I'm back. I had to get some mucinex too. Um, so this is the ink that I've been using. And of course my calligraphy pen that I've been using to sign these. And of course this one comes with a bookmark as well. It's the original bookmark from the book. And that one's ready to go. I'm actually going to set this one over here because that's a custom order. And uh, the cowboy one. Uh, I was unable to find any more of these in my recent trip down to get collect more books. But <clears throat> I did get a really good stock of a lot of books like this. I think I got another one like this. Um, this one, obviously, coffee stained paper. Very rugged, rough and tumble paper here. And, of course, I signed in day to date. You can see it flashing in the light there. And the same color in the front. Now, this yellow bookmark was the original bookmark to the book. 
The other one has a brown one because I couldn't find its yellow bookmark. And I have so much brown ribbon that's coming out my ears. This one was another custom order. Uh, Barchester Towers. Sorry if any of you was hoping for that one. Because I did say last time I had a Barchester Tower on the rack. She came in and decided that she wanted this one in um, <clears throat> with all the pretty pages. So this one came out very vibrantly colored and very beautiful. I hope she loves it. I'm sure she will. Very gorgeous with all of these colors. And I love doing it to our almost um, no paper touches. That's the same color, obviously, in the center where um, they're stitched together. I can't help that. But still, it is so much fun to add all of these wonderful colors together. I love how that looks. And we have this beautiful paper for the front and back plate. And, of course, I signed it right there. If you can see it, I signed and dated it. And this wonderful uh, pirate ship or European, well, I don't want to say European, Roman ship looking one. Uh, the Oregon Trail, which is funny that this is the Oregon Trail and it's got ships on it. Um, this is an international library collector or collectors. It's got the uh, coffee stained paper. Very beautiful, what looks like. Uh, waves to match the the ships on the front waves again and also you can tell on this one um, I did clear coat it but uh, the spine right here it's uh it's pretty crazy just so you all know and I did uh, put in the mesh so you can use it as much as you want and you don't have to worry about the cover falling off but um, this isn't going to get any this isn't going to get any worse, but it's not going to get any better either. So I did my best to fix it the best that I could. Um, the back started it a little bit. I was able to save it before it got too bad. So just so you know, this one will be on the cheaper side compared to the rest. Alrighty, so that is all of my cheaper journals that will be in my basic, basic cheap journals that are going to be listed in the shop. Now I'm going to go out and grab my Christmas journal and I will get back to you with that video as soon as this one is uploaded. I'll probably upload this one tonight and I'll upload that one tomorrow just to give them a little bit of space. So please be looking for that. I uh, hope you all have a happy holidays and I hope these make wonderful gifts for all your friends and family members or just for yourself. And Lexi is getting into trouble. Lexi, what are you doing? Get out of the closet. That sounded so wrong. <laughs> She's such a little turd. But all right. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Bye.